Welcome to Understand Osteoporosis. I'm Jack March, the Rheumatology Physio, and in partnership with Cetra Health, we are going to explore the condition osteoporosis, its causes, risk factors, symptoms, diagnosis, treatment, and outlook. This video forms part of a series, and those cover lots of different conditions, from osteoporosis to rheumatoid arthritis. You can find all of them on this YouTube channel and at cetrahealth.com, which also has downloadable information sheets on all of the conditions we talk about. Please leave questions on the video, I read and reply to all of them, but for now, welcome to Understand Osteoporosis. Osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is a medical condition that weakens the bones in the body, making them more susceptible to sudden and unexpected fractures. It occurs when more bone is broken down than is replaced, compromising the strength and structural integrity. The condition develops silently over many years without obvious symptoms until the bone breaks. So on the left here you can see a healthy femur bone, that's the bone of the hip and thigh, and you can see how compact the bone is together within there. On the right hand side you can see a femur bone with osteoporosis and how all of the bone is more spread out with lots more gaps. So this is the loss of strength and structural integrity. So you can imagine if those were scaffolding within the bone, then it's easier for that bone to break or fracture. Causes of osteoporosis. There are several factors and causes that contribute to the development of, of osteoporosis, and these include increasing age, a low body mass index, or BMI, long-term use of corticosteroids or some other medications, medical conditions like rheumatoid arthritis, gender, and family history. Other causes include lifestyle factors such as smoking, excessive alcohol consumption, lack of physical activity, and a diet low in calcium, vitamin D, or protein. The symptoms of osteoporosis. So osteoporosis often progresses without noticeable symptoms in the early stages until a bone is broken. Symptoms include fractures, and this can be caused by a simple motion such as a sneeze, hug, minor fall, and usually occurs in the spine, hip, wrist, or ribs. Back pain, loss of height, and changes in posture. Diagnosis of osteoporosis. Here are the common methods for diagnosing osteoporosis. A bone density test. This is the most common test for diagnosing osteo osteoporosis. And this is also known as a dual energy x-ray absorptiometry scan or a DEXA scan. It's painless and non-invasive and measures your bone density, typically focusing on the spine, hip and sometimes the forearm. The DEXA scan provides a score which compares your bone density to that of a sex-matched 20-year-old. This score helps to determine whether you have osteoporosis or you've got an increased risk of fractures. Blood tests can be done to assess markers of bone health, and in some cases additional x-rays or CT scans may be ordered to assess for fractures, particularly in the spine. There is also a Fracture Risk Assessment Tool, or FRAX, and this estimates your fracture risk over the next 10 years. Treatment and Prevention of Osteoporosis If you are diagnosed with osteoporosis following a fracture, this will need to be treated first. Treatment options usually include a cast or surgery, and it can take around 6-8 to eight weeks for a broken bone to heal. And you'll probably need to use a walking aid or a wheelchair during that time. There are steps you can take to prevent the risk of future fractures. Lifestyle modifications such as adequate intake of calcium and vitamin D, regular weight bearing and muscle strengthening exercises, quitting smoking, limiting your alcohol consumption, fall prevention such as balance exercises, different medications, some dietary supplements and regular follow-up appointments. Early detection and treatment of osteoporosis is really vital. It allows for treatments to be put in place to slow down that bone loss and increase bone density. Outlook for osteoporosis. Although there is no cure for osteoporosis, you can reduce your risk of fractures and keep your bones strong with preventative measures like lifestyle modifications and medication. Support is available to help you manage your condition and you should always speak to a healthcare professional if you have any questions or concerns. And that's all for this part of the series, Understand Osteoporosis. I was Jack March, the Rheumatology Physio, and thank you to my partners at Cetra Health for providing the visuals for this. 
You can find information on lots more conditions right here on this YouTube channel or for more in-depth information and downloadable resources, head over to setrahealth.com. Have any questions or thoughts about what we've talked about in this video? Drop them in the comments below and I'll get back to you or even make further videos to answer those questions. Until next time, thank you for joining me to understand osteoporosis. Stay curious, stay informed and most importantly, stay healthy.